question number 101 a fungus x with below given features should belong to the class and the features are non motile asexual spores fruiting bodies absent hyphae aseptate first of all please emphasize on the c point which says hyphae aseptate if the hyphae that aseptate then the class should be phycomycetes now is there any option which says phycomycetes no phycomycetes is further divided into oomycetes and the zygomycetes there is no option which says oomycetes so the correct option should be the zygomycetes so the correct option is option number four now you can read the other features also do they really belong to zygomycetes non-motile asexual spores yes zygomycetes produce spore angiospores which are non-motile oomycetes they produce zoospores which are motile fruiting bodies are absent in phycomycetes members let's move to the next question question number 102 white spots seen on mustard leaves are due to a fungus that which fungus causes white spots on mustard it is albugo and the full name is albugo candida so it causes white rust of crucifers it is unicellular no it is multicellular it's a sac fungus no it belongs to the class phycomycetes it has septate mycelium no it has aseptate mycelium it lacks dikaryophase in its life yes it lacks dikaryophase because dikaryophase seen only in the members of the ascomycetes as well as basidiomycetes so the correct option for the given question is option number four let's pick up the next question question number 103 fruiting bodies are not seen in fruiting bodies are seen in agaricus mushrooms morals and truffles yes saccharomyces although saccharomyces or your yeast it belongs to the class ascomycetes but being unicellular it does not produce fruiting bodies so the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 104 state the following statements as true or false and select the correct option a goniolex is a red dinoflagellate yes it is true that goniolex it is red dinoflagellate it is responsible for the red tide it multiplies so fast that it makes the sea appear red in color b statement in cleviceps plasmogamy is immediately followed by karyogamy no in cleviceps it's a sac fungus hence there is a delayed karyogamy and there will be a dikaryophase which can be seen due to delayed karyogamy so this is false alternaria asexually reproduces through conaria yes alternaria it's a member of deuteromycetes and it asexually reproduces through conidia. it is true so by analyzing the option we can say the correct option for the given question is option number three let's move to the next question question number 105 which of the given features is true for viruses but false for viroids okay i can write here that for viruses and for viroids option number one two three four okay first is presence of genetic material in viruses as well as viroids both have genetic material viroids they are infectious rna particles so they have rna and in viruses it can be either rna or dna second option says pathogenic to plants viruses they are pathogenic to plants viroids they are pathogenic to plants only for example potato spindle tuber disease is caused by viroids third have chances of occurrence of mutation if they have genetic material definitely they have chances of occurrence of mutations so this is also true for both fourth one presence of proteinaceous capsid as i said viroids are infectious rna particles they do not have proteinaceous covering they do not have proteins so capsid is not present here but yes it is present in viruses 
So fourth option is true for viruses but false for viroids. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move to the next question. 